Today I am introducing to you a video that I feel compelled by the Holy Spirit to put out because there's an urgency in my spirit about the things that's about to happen. This is very unusual for me to do this. I uh, have been pastoring for 53 years. I started pastoring in 1970. And this is one of the very, very few times I could name on one hand the times that I've ever come before the public with a message this important. But this is an important message. It's entitled, The Earth is Speaking. Are you listening? The first time this happened was back in um, 2001. I was leaving my chair on Sunday morning. I was pastoring Brownsville. And as I was leaving my chair to come up and address the audience on that Sunday morning, I was getting ready to preach. I didn't know when I left my chair that by the time I reached the pulpit, these words is going to come out of my mouth. But I said, by Tuesday, you will see on your television something that will shock you and you will say, oh my God. And what happened was, it was 911, came right out of the clear blue. But I gave my church warning on that Sunday, two days before, I gave them warning that this was coming. And I didn't even know what it was myself when I gave them the warning. The second time that I gave a warning like this to my congregation down through the years was in December the 19th, 2019. I came before the church. Everything was still normal. Happened yet? And COVID I gave not this word to the church and I told them that you need to be aware that things are about to change and darkness is going to turn into gross darkness and you're going to see things that you've never seen before. Sure enough, it happened in 2020. And then the third thing is today, I'm coming to you with this message about the earth is speaking, are you listening? I'm dealing with four sins, four major sins that will cause the earth to convulse. And if you look in the Bible, you'll see that man and land are indelibly connected. The land will manifest what's going on with the man. When God put Adam in the garden, he put him there to tend the land and the land and Adam worked together and it was a beautiful thing. But when man sinned, the land began to rebel against man and the land began to manifest what was going on in man. Well, that same thing is going on today. That same concept, that same principle is working today where the land is going to manifest the sins that are proliferating. One more thing. This video is continue. I want you to pay very close attention. This is a phenomenal. I appreciate you and also Pastor John Kilpatrick for sharing this phenomenal, uh, phenomenal video. So make sure you continue to watch because he, you will be very surprised and I think you will be alerted. So make sure you watch. And I also thank Pastor uh, John Kilpatrick for, for being bold and also coming forth to share this powerful uh, revelation with the body. In our nation and in the nations of the earth, they are proliferating. They are increasing at alarming rates. It's hard to keep up with it, but you're gonna see the land begin to show forth and you're gonna to begin to see it act out in the way of earthquakes, volcanoes, the weather, and many other things. It's something that you need to be aware of. It's going to start happening rapidly and quickly. Can't tell you exactly when, but it's coming. The Holy Spirit spoke to me early in the morning and he said, I want you to warn the people this is coming. They need to be aware so they won't be afraid. They will pray. So thank you for watching this today. I believe it's going to be informative. I believe it's going to be something that will stir you, but I also believe that God's going to be speaking to this nation and the nations to get right with God and to be ready for his soon coming. Thank you for watching. I heard the video from Pastor uh, John Kilpatrick, a uh, phenomenal man of God. I love his teaching. Um, on the last days, if you look at in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21st, and to be specific, the, the verse, if you go, the Bible verse, 21, Gospel of, John, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 5th. So the destruction of the temple and the sign of the end times. I want to also correlate what Pastor John Kilpatrick uh, 
shared with the body of Christ. And uh, last days, you know, Jesus Christ talking to his disciples and Jesus Christ talking about some of the, his disciples were remarking about how the temple was adored with beautiful stones with and with gifted, dedicated to God. But Jesus said, as for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Teacher, this asked, when will these things happen? Pay very close attention. The question is being asked because they're curious about the future. They are they want Jesus to predict because Jesus is the son of God. So they want Jesus to predict the future. And uh, Jesus, you know, gives them a sign. And ladies and gentlemen, pay very close attention. And this is a sign. Look at him. <clears throat> He replied, watch out that you are not deceived. First of all, Jesus Christ talked about watch out that you're not deceived by the false prophet. And who's the false, false prophet is, is the prophet who will prophesy not a things of God, but things of the world, which will mislead people just for attention. So he replied, watch out that you are not deceived for many will come in my name. See, many will come in, in, in Jesus name and they will perform miracles, signs and wonders and all kinds of sorts of stuff. But that's when you will know, you know, you will know people by their deeds. You know, the Jesus also talks about the the tree is recognized by its fruit. Think about the tree. You know, if you want to judge somebody, you want to see somebody if that's for real. Just look at them by their fruit, what kind of food, fruit they are producing. And um, here we go. Uh, for many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Do not allow them when you hear of wars and uprising. Do not be frightened. These things must be happened first, but the end will not come right away. See, the end will not come, although a lot of people just want to just give it over. It's just over. But, you know, the end will not come because you see what we are going through right now. There is a turmoil in the all over the world. There is big turmoil and bad things are happening. But you look at it at the same time that we living in a place of Goshen. God is protecting his people from evildoers. The people who uh, our attentions are evil. The people who wants to harm uh, those who wants to destroy, those who wants to, you know, uh, overcome. You see that nowadays, you know, people started calling themselves a God. Although human beings can never be God because we are created on the image of God, but we are not gods or God. Excuse me. Um, uh, then he said to them, then he said, who is he? Jesus Christ. Then he said to them, it's a, Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, the verse 10. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places and fear, uh, fearful events and great signs from heaven. And you know that the blood moon is being shown. The eclipse is being shown. You know, all this, the eclipse when happened, you know, the, the blood moons happen. So uh, this is amazing that you guys seen, you're witnessing. And, and it is also important that we are living in an era that a lot of things are taking place at, at, at the front of over naked eyes. And you see, uh, as, as the world is shifting, the environments are shifting. The, the love is being taken away from, uh, from the earth because you see the loves, people who confess, profess great love, it's, it's fainting away the love. The love is going away. The people are lover of themselves and they, they are selfish more than ever before. And, and they want to do the things the way they want it to be done, you know, because there is a big, huge, um, in the church divide because there's so many de denominations come forth and those all denominations are, are one of, like they form a groups of them. Every single denomination is all about them promoting their um, uh, princip uh, principles and agendas and, and their stuff. And I, I think church might not like what I'm saying, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, 
if we follow to Paul says, let's let's make it very clear. If you receive any other gospel, the gospel that we preach to you, then let the man to be cursed. Let those who receive the gospel, who preach the gospel, let them to be cursed. And that's why I'm uh, professing today and saying today and uttering today that it is very important that we pay very close attention that as the world is changing, as our uh, over, over forefathers, you know, by faith, Abraham, uh, and also prophet Jeremiah and Isaiah, and, and they predicted the future, these things, and Daniel predicted the future, these things are going to happen. And Jesus talking about exactly the same thing. This is the prediction of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is prophetically releasing this word that for to warn people to to have them be alerted when you see these signs and and terrible uh, you know these scary and fearful events and great signs from heaven don't be afraid of it but therefore all but before all this they will seize you and persecute this is the this is i feel nobody wants to hear this part that they will persecute you they will seize you they will put you in prison they will hand you over to synagogues and put you in prison and you will be brought before kings and go governors and all on account of my name because of the name of Jesus Christ. And so you will bear testimony to me, but make sure your mind not to worry beforehand. You will how you will defend yourself. The verse 15, I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will, Jesus is going to give in the last days, Jesus, and when you, when you being prison, when you being thrown in, in jail cell, Jesus Christ will give you wisdom and provision for you to react or what to say. And they will not be able to resist. You will be betrayed even by parents. And this is what is happening right now, ladies and gentlemen, you will be betrayed by your parents, uh, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, and they will be put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you because of me. But not a hair of your head will perish. Stand firm and you will win life. Stand firm and you will win life. And that's why I'm not saying all this to cause fears, the sp fear mongering spirit, but just warning you that remember that not to gather your treasure on this planet, but gather your treasure in heaven. Because when you are intentional uh, with your treasure gathering, like what you're doing, good things to save other people, Jesus Christ will help and bless you and deliver you. The time of when it comes, excuse me, when the time comes that they are, you know, taking you into prisons and, and, and accusing you with all false accusations, this is the time that you understand that the enemy is, excuse me, guys, I just had this um, cheesecake and now I can't even handle this. So, and you will see that you will be slender. People will slander your name. People will say all kind of bad stuff against you, against your family, against your parents, against your sibling. And then you will know the end is near because all those people who think that they're serving God but doing bad stuff, I'm telling you, this is uh, to be, you, you ought to be alerted. You ought to be very careful. And uh, I feel truly in my heart that it is time for believers all over the world to be uh, prepared to, to get alerted because enemy is running around on this planet to see who he can devour, who he can steal from, and who he can deceive. There is people that are being deceived, stolen from, and also being devoured, you know, financially, physically, spiritually. Uh, people are being uh, slaughtered. And... Um, and in the name of their God that they worship. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, be very careful that you pray and file your petition in the presence of God, that God to continue to use you and continue to show his grace and mercy to you because you are called for this very season. This is the, your season. This is your time. And you wouldn't have be born in any other time. You are a perfect fit for the time that you are right now. Please make sure you share this video and I will see you shortly. God bless you.